everybody we are back hopefully you can tell we've um, done all the trim around the arms the head and around the whole body it looks really neat can't wait to get some paint on it to really accentuate it and now what we're gonna do is is we're gonna try and um, do these hooves not really a whole lot to them but they're very crucial Alright, so what we're going to have to do at first is, there's a little line I've scored here that we're just going to have to accentuate a little bit and we're going to have to cut a little wedge cut just below them because that's where the fur is. So you have the actual hoof itself with fur above it. Camera angles are good. Now we gotta just round the edges and angle the hoof to some sort of anatomical correctness. It's going to be really hard to give this up. I know I said that in the last clip, but man, the, the amount of effort that's been put in this and the detail. This has got to be by far one of my, my favorite carvings so far. <clears throat> and one of the most difficult too, man. It's taken me the longest of any of them. And it's, it's proved quite a few... Uh, challenges. Like I said, I've never actually had to attach an extra piece of wood to a, a carving before. I mean, that in itself is just mind-blowing to get it to, to look appropriate for what I want it to look like and what it should look like. And like I said, anybody says, well, just uh, do a smaller one and you don't need as big a piece of wood. Well, you lose a lot of the, uh, ability to detail the face that way unless somebody starts making dollhouse size knives man and then how would you hold the knife see it just opens up a whole slew of issues am I right round those over alrighty there we go with that got that there I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing here now. It's a really crummy angle. We're just gonna round over the bottom of the hoof underneath. And see this is just like add added extra detail right here. I mean Generally, nobody is going to be looking underneath. God, I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing or not. But, I like to add as many elements as I can. And I don't know about you guys, but me personally, if I... Uh, having to look at something that I'm interested in or I think's real neat. I mean, I, I look over the whole thing. Top to bottom, all that. It's just kind of a, a habit. It's not that uh, critiquing it. or Actually, yeah, usually when you're looking at something, you're critiquing it. Whether you realize it or not. Or whether you're being honest or not.
see later what I'll do is is I'll uh, usually take the wood burner and actually burn my initials in the bottom of it usually in the feet used to my trademark was so I did a lot of animals I would do the paw print on the bottom of it was my trademark now I'm just doing initials but there we go guys we're uh, gonna be painting in the next one I was debating if you see this chain here I was debating carrying that up this way but it's just such a tight spot in here I figure we'll just consider it's under the beard but yeah hopefully y'all can see the detail we put into the arms and the head shroud and all that and just along the the whole bottom yeah I think it looks really cool it's gonna look even cooler once we get paint on it but I'm real happy with our uh, our Krampus and um, I know there's a really really short clip but I mean there wasn't really much to do there <clears throat> you know what oh no we broke the broke the daggone horn how did how did that freaking happen dang it see that's why you always gotta be careful guys shoot Right there in the bend of it too, man. Crap. Yeah, let's see. It's right where we put one of those notches as well. Well, I happen sometimes. there we go <clears throat> and if you wonder what kind of glue uh, I'm using there uh, for instances like that it's just regular old super glue something that dries really fast <clears throat> but yeah man um, if y'all just take a look let's see let's see if we can't I don't know if the camera angles are good enough for y'all to actually see me hollow anything out I was going to try and hollow some of that out for you guys, but I just I don't think y'all can see it. But yeah, guys, this is the last, uh, last time we're going to see him like this. Let's give him um, one last little look over, see if we haven't missed anything before we get ready to paint it. <clears throat> I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but all these parts that we've circled uh, dark with a pen, those are the areas that we couldn't actually carve, so we're going to have to paint that detail on. And that's because um the gap we had because if you look down here all right where we added that extra piece the the tail the train whatever you want to call it where the the rope drapes back you can see that that slight gap there where it meets the actual block of wood uh it just wouldn't flush no matter how much i carved on it so we took thin strips of wood and just glued them around those seams and they blend in pretty daggone nice and when we paint them it, it should uh, disappear almost completely <clears throat> but we couldn't carve into those because there wasn't any wood underneath of it to really carve it's just hollow in some of those spots so we'll just have to paint those details on except for this that's raised that's an actual detail we carved in I don't know why I uh, colored it like that but yeah guys it's our last step uh, I don't see I don't see anything we really need to address, everybody. Um, looks pretty doggone good to me. Yeah, I was saying about that inner mouth, but there's not much else we can do to that without destroying it. We just have, have to paint it real good. I think it looks pretty, uh, pretty freaking awesome. Hope you all do too. And uh, just stay tuned. We'll be back with our next clip, putting some paint on it, and it's really, really going to start uh, looking awesome then.